What is going on, ladies and gentle beans? How are we all doing today? Emmett, Faith on, how are you guys doing? Good to see you in the chat. Did y'all miss me? I hope you all had a really nice Easter. Hope you all had a really nice Easter. How's it going? How's it going, my buddies, my pals? I hope all is well. Alrighty then. I think I still need to climb in fleet. I think I still need to be fleeting. You're not having fun in GAC. I'm sorry to hear that, Burrito. Why are you not having fun in G to A to the C? Your opponent officially gave up after losing to your R3 Phoenix team. 7.5 mil and 3 GLs for offense. Well, he didn't have a good time, did he, Phaethon? Evo, how's it going, brother? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you, to see you good. What's going on, Sanest? How you doing today, brother? Nice to see you. So yeah, as we were saying, I hope you guys had a real jolly good time over Easter. Hope you had some Easter eggs. Hopefully you got to see a family or something like that. Unmodded Hera Ezra Kanan. <laughs> that's, some, that's some good business right there. That is good business. Oh, we are not having a good time against this guy, are we? We are not having a good time. Could be worse, though. Could be worse. Boop. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, crap. That was, uh, that was totally a mistake. Totally. Totally tubular. Tubular. Dude. Stay on target. Alrighty then. Has he got heal immunity? He does not. And he still doesn't have heal immunity. We are having none of the luck, and now he's got tenacity up, so that means he's gonna fully heal. That's uh that's great. It's just what I always wanted, in fact. In fact, he's not going to, because he's just gonna generally heal up. That's even better. That is even better. <laughs> so no luck for me today then. Just keep it on rolling. I mean, I think we're going to win regardless, but that's not the point. The point is, he made it awkward for me, and I don't like him for doing that. I didn't want him to make things awkward for me. I wanted life to be hassle-free. What's going on, Eli? So many of us, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, I was back in uh, back in my hometown, spending it with my mother and my family. Sometimes family is more important than streaming. That's all I can say. That's all I can say about that. You know? All of us streamers, you know, we do, uh, we do a lot of work. We put in a lot of hours for our streaming endeavors. I think we've earned the right to have some time to ourselves as well, right? I've been working, so no. Haven't been home since Sunday. <laughs> since Saturday. Oh, Night Fox, you've been out and about since Saturday. We're doing good, Eli. We're doing good. You have everyone else on lurk. Thank you, Bazinga. Champion. What a champion. Herm. You hate your Gak opponent? He isn't attacking. It's driving me up the wall. I'm too impatient. Oh, Revan. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Have you already done your attacks, then? I don't think my opponent has attacked, but I haven't really been keeping an eye on it. Do 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 boop boop do do. Oh my god, he's still got 25 stacks left. It's like slowly, slowly, we will defeat this guy. Eventually. Nine stacks, five stacks, five stacks, three stacks, one stack, no stack, yay! Got home from Chicago Saturday night. Still not 100% on what day it is. I think it's Monday. You did them yesterday night. Good business, man. 
Your opponent just started attacking. I dropped two battles in his Ray with Raycron at the back wall before beating his third. Otherwise, one shot everything else. Nice. 2029. Not too bad, Emmett. Not too bad. Looks like our opponent has started attacking. Let's go see what he's doing. Let's see what Mr. Clem is up to. He is going sooth. For sooth. So, he has taken out the Ray team, he's taken out DTMG, and he's taken out Rex Rex 5. I can imagine he's going to keep pushing south. He'll probably clear through. And that's okay. I'm not sure what my opponent has got. <laughs> Defensively speaking. So, let's take a look. In the north, I can see a Reaver and I can see a Malgus. Okay, so we've got a Malak Solo. That's nice. We've got um, an interesting Savage lead team here. We've got our own Malgus team to take out the DTMG. We've got uh, Jedi Knight Cal, I guess, with a Basti lead to take down this. Is that, uh, that going to be Doubt? Yeah, Doubt. That makes sense. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Reaver. Okay. So North Wall, not too bad. North Wall's not too bad. Hey, 3 Ify, thank you so much for the follow. Wait for them to attack first, but my roster is getting to the point where I can fight whenever. My 3v3 teams can slay giants and stop tsunamis. 5v5 is getting there. I love the confidence, brother. I love the confidence, JQ. I love it. So, south we've got... Oh, my days. Okay. We've got Ray with Raycron. Let's see how this is rolled up. So, yep, it's got the 100% health, which means I basically just have to kill Ray. Because she's the only resistance member on the team. So I don't have to do anything. Like, this level 6 does nothing for this team. Well, no. That's wrong. It gives Ray 100% tenacity. That's all that that level 6 is doing. She's got some offense and some health steal. We'll probably Malikos it. Uh, then we've got a Lord Vader. We've got JML. We've got Jabba. And we've got a... <laughs> Alright, so he's like all of the GLs in the world in the South Wall. That's fine. I'm not concerned. We should be able to clear through that. Um, only an R5 mall. Yeah, it should be okay to clear through this. We've got a JML over here with Gen Knight Cal and Luke with a Calcron. <laughs> should be okay. And we've got a Jabbercron over here. And we've got a Leia. So Leia will probably... Probably Malgus this. Jabber, maybe JMK Cat the Jabber. I mean, I feel like we should be able to see this, but I, I've not tried it. I've not tried it in a long time. Obviously not with uh, not with Bane. Bane over here. JMK C. Um, although we don't have we don't have what available, so that might be a difficult one. JML, the Lord Vader. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to use C-Bane, Romjo. That's that's way, way too overkill. Way too overkill. Um, I could JMK cat this. No, we JML this. Let me think that through. Let me think that through. If we Malakos this, JML, JMK Cat, Bane, C, something. Seer Malakos basically autos the whole Dokron. Uh, Seer Cal Malakos. Do I have Bomando? I do indeed. Oh, Ro Romjo, I totally forgot. Yeah, <laughs> I do have Bomando. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting that I've got Bomando. So that's basically a dead team. That's easy money. We don't need JML there then. That's nice. Me forgetting I've got Bow Mando. That is a derp moment. Why would he set Lord Vader on defense, knowing that I have Bow Mando? Interesting choice. Maybe he just didn't scout. Maybe he just didn't scout. But he's doing well. He's doing well. He's pushing through. Oh, he dropped the battle on Keller and Beck. Keller and Beck getting a hold for us. That's my man. My man, Mr. Keller and Beck, with gas and cam. Causing issues. Grab a tissue. 
Not for the happy time, for the sad times, because he's crying. Mm-hmm. Cal is a suboptimal third. Well, in that Ray team, for sure. Yeah. Axel Tosh, thank you so much for the resub there, brother. Lots of folks place bow on defense. Everything has an easy counter. Lord Vader is still a strong team. Um, yeah, I don't place bow on defense. I don't see the point in putting bow on defense. She's still counted by Treya in my books. Um, so, yeah. And then occasionally people still put Lord Vader on defense. So I'm like, yep, I'll take the free banners. You change defense every now and then, but not often, which is why I suck. <laughs> you just watched Ranger failed with it. What what did Ranger fail with, Romju? Oh, he got it that time. He got it that time. Second time's the charm. Hey, Kaicho, how you doing, bro? Oh, see a Ka Malikos Cal. Yeah, I don't I don't use Cal. I throw on SK. See a Malikos SK. It's a solid counter. So, assuming he has no further GLs on the back wall, he probably then... He probably had to burn a GL against Ray. I can't... I mean, maybe he maybe he managed to star kill other Ray. Maybe he managed to star kill other Ray. It's possible. Um, but then he still has to deal with Lair in the back. And he, he should have at least three GLs, right? So, this is trash team. I needed to take that off defense. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. They're all just banner sapping teams more than anything. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, buddy. Subscribe of the gaming. How's it going, MP? Ready for my wisdom. My wisdom is this. Are you ready? To, are you holding a pen? Because you'll need to write this one down. Number one, do not pee into the wind. Number two, do not eat yellow snow. By your same Lord Vader logic, Leia gets smashed by Bane, so why place her on defense? Something's gotta get smashed by Bane. Look, Skeep, Bane smashes everything. There's nothing on defense that stops Bane. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. So what, I'm supposed to put nothing on defense? Everything does have so many counters these days, but Lord Vader is a 57 banner counter to a non-GL team. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nothing stops Bokron either? Of course it does. Of course it does. Like, that, that's, a, that's a silly statement. Bo doesn't beat everything. You took down a level 9 JML with Sidious DC. Nicely done, Aldo. That seems to be his most reliable counter, Aldo. That seems to be his most reliable counter. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Bo is a really time, hard time against JMK. In threes, you might get lucky and you might get um, you might get that 50% chance of, of getting uh, what's the face? Cat, right? As your instant kill. In which case, it would be a lot easier. If not, they could turn me to threat, yeet out one of your characters and then you're struggling. Bo don't work on no Gungans, does you not? I'd be surprised if she didn't. Oh yeah. Bokron is is very powerful. It's very useful. It's very useful. Let's see. He he might be choosing to leave this one and then clear up north next. Who knows? Who knows? Nothing works on Gungans. <laughs> Night Fox. Are you speaking with a tad of bias right now? Are you speaking with a tad of bias? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's dropped a battle against... He preloaded Aiden. Oh, he preloaded her as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Clem. Ouchies. Ouchies, ouchies, ouchies. They're the new meta and will never be replaced. They are the only meta right now. Gungans beating everything. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. 
So um, I'm glad that he's preloaded this team. That could be awful, awkward. awkward for him. Adam, how's it going, brother? Good to see you in the chat. It's nice to see my opponent attacking. He's dropped a couple of battles already. He's dropped two battles. Which is nice for me. It's very nice for me. Boom, boop, doom, boop, doom. Thank you so much, Adam. So yeah, so yeah, we'll go, um, we'll go see a Malakos SK here. We'll go Bomando here. Well, something this. We'll JMK the Jabber. We'll Bane this. What should I use against JML? I mean, I could mirror the JML. How much protection has he got on here? What are the first two armies to be placed on Bane? You go with the rule of two first Essex, and then you go with the the one that uh, increases decreases the cooldowns on two. His second special is cooldown increase. The one that does that by two. Hey Castro, I'm good, mate. How are you doing? Okay, the good thing is, is he doesn't have a lot, any protection at all. So that's nice. So that's nice. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you the... You just use the ones that I've got currently, buddy, okay? In my opinion, in my opinion, you go rule of two. This is the most important one and likely the only one you really need. And then essence of dominance. Okay, so this one over here, increase enemy cooldowns by two instead. Super, super useful, especially when taking on JMK cat teams. That's more of a 5v5 counter, but you know, it's good. Struggling with Malgus Proving Grounds. Any tips? Currently using Slacker. I don't have any tips whatsoever for Proving Grounds, mate. I'm really sorry. I wish I did, but I just don't... Uh, I don't... I've never been able to play Proving Grounds. C CG does not let me. They do not let me play Proving Grounds. I despise them for it. All right. Looks like he managed to beat her on the second bite of the apple. So he's going in against Trench, who is firmly on the bench with a Dooku Krong. It can't be done with Slacker? Okay. I I'll take Shazrog's word for it. Unfortunately, for some reason, CG just doesn't let you play the Proving Grounds if you've already unlocked the characters. I don't mind. If they let me play it without getting any rewards, I'd still be happy so I can go in and make guides for it. But... They don't let me. <laughs> While Kron is active, Bane doesn't really need a second army. I completely agree, Revan. Plus, I prefer waiting in case CG nerf him. I don't think he's going to get nerfed. Um, I've, I've been on. I've gone on record saying that before. Maybe I'll be wrong. I don't think they'll nerf him. They don't tend to nerf characters. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Oh, trench on the bench, getting holds, baby. Trench on the bench getting holds. Love it. All right, so we've got three holds now. This guy's not having the best of times. My benched trench getting them holds. Proving grounds are blocked after 330 shards. They are indeed. They are indeed, Aldo. It's frustrating. Because I can't even go in and see what the battles are like and try to formulate some sort of plan for people. Try to figure out what units you could use to help you beat them for three stars. Trench with the revenge kicking ass. Hell yeah. Your opponent finally started attacking and dropped their first battle. <laughs> Victory is mine! <laughs> nice one, brother. Nice one. Our guy is quite a bit on defense, but um, we should have enough on offense to, to to deal with him. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, the ultimate journey event. I'll have to get on that as well. See, look, conquest. Yay! Oh, I can't do any of them. As you can see, zero stars on any of these events. Possible rewards? Nothing. 
You did Malgus Proving Grounds with see what GBA Malak and Vader. One star, but worked. Hey, at least you one starred it, bro. That's some, right? That's something. <laughs> oh, sister. Sorry, Senest. I apologize. Let us sim the ult. Uh, that would be nice, Sansa. If we could, if we could have Sims for Ultimate Journey event, that would be sick. You failed two times on ships. Offensively, you did two thousand and seven banners in total. You hope your opponent is giving up. Maybe. No way, MJ. Seriously, is she okay? How did that happen, dude? Is she all right? That sucks, man. Has he has he attacked any further after? Oh my god, he dropped another battle against Trench. This poor bloke. This poor bloke. She fell down the stairs. God damn, that sucks, man. Sorry to hear that, brother. I'm sorry to hear that. In a temporary cast goes Wednesday for the full cast. Gotcha. God damn, that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah, baby. Lots of your guildmates and several content creators have said you get lots of mileage out of Padme Galactic Republic for Proving Grounds. Ah, cool. That's good to know, James. Thank you. Stuff happens, but I wanted you to know because you're a friend. Aw, oh, mate. That's very kind of you. That's very kind. Well, I hope she does get better soon, man. And I'm sorry to hear it. I'm sorry to hear it. All right. So forming an offensive plan then. We should be able to Malak solo this, which would be nice. Not sure what to use here. Um, we'll use um, we'll use Malgus here. Uh, we should be able to use Jedi Knight Cal there. Reaver, Reaver, Reaver. I should really be using something like um, C, but we do know that Jabba can beat it. It's just not very good banners. Jabba can beat it for... Oh, hang on. We've got Reaver. Doesn't Reaver beat JML in threes? I swear Reaver beats JML in threes. Let's check that out real quick on the old Swigger Insights. So we've got JML, got Luke and Jedi Knight Cal. few battles. Let's just see Reaver. 96 battles, 100% win rate. Maybe we just Reaver the JML. I mean, I think it should be fine. We'll just go in with a Doubtcron. Go in with a Doubtcron, have a good time. I think it makes sense. You know it makes sense, buddy. I don't have the Sidious Cron for this one, no. No, Sidious Cron, unfortunately, was uh, was rolled after lock-in. Anti-Jedi kick, go Bert, indeed. Oh, looks like he's, he's killed the team. What did he kill? What did he kill? CLS, by the looks of things. Yeah, took out the CLS. All right. All right, well, we're not going to wait any longer, I don't think, ladies and gentle beans. Let's, um, let's go ahead and do our first attack. I want to clear that south wall, open up the back wall, see what's waiting for us back there. So I think we actually start with Reaver. What do you guys think? I think we start with Reaver. Starting with Reaver, I think, is, is, a, good, is a good thing to do. Reaver versus JML. Never done this before, but... Oh, well, I might have done this in threes. I, I can't recall doing it in threes. But we're going to go for it anyway. And we're taking standard Reaver lineup. Standard Reaver lineup. We're going to take in some doubt. We're going to take in some fear and doubt. Hmm. We could do the extra offense, I guess. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. 
All right, guys, getting ready for our very first battle of this GAC. Let's see if we can go 2-1 and one this week. Come on, Reaver. Let's beat this old man. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Um, I think I'll actually go for the ability blocks at the gate. Let's figure it out. Ability blocks at the gate. Then I'll go for armor shreds, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and strip back to meter, get the ability blocks. And yeah, I guess we'll torture. Come on then. Get that heal immunity. Let's go. One hit. Two hit. Uh, wow is all I can say. JML got absolutely shrecked, didn't he? Absolutely shrecked. Let's heal up. Let's get some ability blocks. That Luke does hurt. No turns for you, Cal. Alright then. Turns out, turns out Reaver's a pretty good unit. Reaver's a pretty good unit against JML. Who knew? Did you guys knew? Oh, really? Really, Luke? Honestly. Banner sapping. But hey. That was easy. Who, who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Turns out, Reaver does well against Jedi. Who knew? Who knew? 3-0 and for the last week. Great start to threes. Hey, congrats, MJ. Go for Lord Vader first. Yeah, I mean, we'll go for Lord Vader now if you want. Who'd have thought? Not us. I know, right? So let's get old Bokeh out. And we're going to throw in IG-12. And Grogu, of course. Now I do. I'm working on Inquisitors right now, so it's good to know. Good stuff, Kaijo. Good stuff, buddy. All right, let's get that Bow Mando Chrome rolling. I don't think we need to think about this one too much. You only have 16 shards of Reaver? Ooh, baby. We've got a 50% chance of getting Maul. It would be really sick if we could actually get Maul right now, straight off the rip. So fingers crossed for that. Let's do this. Let's go. You've got 16 shards of Reaver? Come on, Aldo, you can get more shards than that. The guild can do it. Just like we're about to do this. Eh, bloop. Good. And we'll go blop. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's bring that maul out of hiding, shall we? That's a lot of damage. Get rid of you. Lord Vader. How you doing, buddy? I mean... She does some pretty good stuff, doesn't she? She does some pretty good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Reva, you are a bit of a... Reva? I mean, uh, Bo Mando. She's uh, only facing off against a Relic 9 Lord Vader over here. Dark Saber in hand. Animatronic with small Grogu inside of a machine. Get the big hits on Vader. Get wrecked, nerd. She's 57. She's Yeah, that is painful, Aldo. It's Grogu doing all the work anyway. You're absolutely right, Zanza. You're absolutely right. It is all Grogu. 90% Grogu. That's how it is. That's a really rude battle. It is Senes. It is. Let's see how our opponent is getting on. Um, might have stopped attacking. Might have stopped attacking. Oh, no. They're in against Sana. They're in against Sana now. This is a bit of a throwaway team, truth be told. I'm not expecting that to get any sort of a hold. Um, but they've already dropped a couple. They've dropped a couple. So I'm fingers crossing, you know? Fingers crossed. Hopeful. Hopeful we can get work done. Okay. Let's see. We'll save Ray till later. I think we're going against Jabba. We'll do JMK Cat versus Jabba. JMK Cat. I'll save Mace. We'll save Mace because I want to use him with... Uh, with Basti. Alrighty then. That's my JML Cron, so we're not going to use that one.
All my good crons are used. That's a bit frustrating. I mean, I want to save this for my Akbar team, so let's not use that one. Maybe we just use this one. I'm not going to use it on another team. Yeah, let's just use it here. You say Jabba weird? Jabba. How, how would you expect me to say Jabba? Jabba? Or Jobber? Jobber? Nobody calls him Jobber. Jabba. 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 <laughs> All right, let's go. Doot, 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 doot. Let's see what we can do about this big slob. Yabba dabba doo -da. Let's go. All right, let's go up here. I'm actually going to... I'll probably go for a quick ult. Quick ult, yeet out, bausch. That's what we're going to go for. Quick ult to yeet out, bausch. Just because I don't like her face, it irks me somewhat. Her face irks me somewhat. Beskar. Let's just do this. There we go. Quick ult. Ya da da da. Nice bit of heal action going on there. Alright. See ya, Bausch. Good business. Nice business. Good knowing you, Bausch. Real good knowing you. All in on Santi then. Oh. 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 Now, of course, we are not going to have a whole lot of time in the high ground because of obvious reasons. We, uh, we went for a quick ult, which means we don't have it for very long. The high ground is only shortly obtained. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all part of the master plan. It's all part of the master plan. Let's keep resetting. Pass this back and forth. Ramp up that mastery. That shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have done that at all. That's totally my bad. Total wrong move to do there. Yeah, let's just keep on armor shredding Santi though. Armor shredding Santi is definitely the way. Build up the ult. Armor shred Santi. Back into ult. Raise that mastery. Come on, baby. Let's go. We're on ticking timer here. Ticking timer. Come on then. Let's be having you, Santi. Let's be having you. Ooh. Always with the damage right now. Uh, let's pass over here. I don't know why I passed over there. That doesn't really make any sort of sense. But I will mass assist. Okay, that's one death on him. We can get an armor shred on Jabba. Oh, wow, that one armor shred took away all of his health and... Uh, well, all of his protection. It comes back. The big furry Wookiee. It'd be great if we could um, just focus on Jabba and kill him before Santi can taunt. That's absolutely wrecked, Jabba. Jabba was not having any of it. He was just like, nope, I'm sorry guys, I, I just, I can't, I can't get on board with being, you know, in, in the land of the living today. So we'll just have a full banner victory. Easy money. Easy money. What are you all buying with GL tickets? Huh? With GL tickets? I don't have any GL tickets. On north, you have GI 7th and 9th and 7th hold at the moment. Next to that, Ray and the Raycron with Armadala. Nice. Jabba was indeed yeeted. Not gonna lie, Ray looks scary. Ray is a scary individual, but she gets beat by stuff, so. Oh, sorry, that. Uh, Omicrons. Omicron mats is what I use. That's all I purchase. He's in his third battle against uh, Trench on the bench. Come on, Trench. Get the third hold. I, I believe in Trench. I believe in Trench. Got your Jedi Cal to R8. Have you got all the Omis and Zetas on yours? I'm not doing any Omis on Jedi Knight Cal. Um, just because I don't feel like I need them. So I'm not going to put them in for TB. Um, but I have all the Zetas, I believe. Oh. TB Omis aren't necessary yet. I agree. 
I agree. At this current point in time, I completely agree. So he's still working on that trench on the bench. 704 banners for our kindly opponent so far. We're going to keep working south. I want to see what's on that back wall so we can plan the rest of our attacks. I think we're going to go in against Leia now. I'm going to go in Leia and Darth Maul. Leia, Darth Maul and Bane, sorry. Let's whip out our Sith. So we got our Bane over here and we want our Darth Maul. We're just going to chuck on that Bane Cron. We're going to chuck on that Bane Cron, baby. We're going to have some fun with this one. And people say Trench suck. I don't. I value Trench. Let's go. All right, let's do this. I'm going to... Uh, we can't decrease their cooldowns, so I'm going to start by gaining some extra mastery. Some extra mastery so that when I siphon, I'll actually siphon some stuff. That's the plan, anyway. Oh no, not my Darth Maul. Don't hurt my Darth Maul. D oh no, what am I going to do without Darth Maul? Oh, drat. And double drat. Oh. Ouch. All righty then. Hit me. Thank you. Alrighty. Boop. 100k basic. I'm here for it. I'm here for... Oh, no. Not not my Sith Trooper. Don't... D oh, no. Whop. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. How dare you? Very rude of you. Oh, no. Not my units again. Have you got damage immunity right now? You don't. I'm sorry. It's hard life. It's a very hard life. Alright. Let's, let's sucky sucky. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Leia. D was that insulting? Was that was that insulting, Leia? I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I was lying. 54. Did you happen to see the latest data mine? I did. Animations for Crosshair and for a B2 rocket trooper, right? Hoping it's legit, not some April Fool's thing. So am I, James, but I'm uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to believe it is not. Could you do a video on the Sia JMK mission for TB? I already have Born. I've got I have a full video, full guide for that on my channel already. On my channel already. Uh, as said, she beats Lord Vader. She beats Lord Vader without her Omicrons and Datacrons. Who are you talking about, Peak now? Sorry, buddy. Bane should be a tank because he's definitely taunting his with his enemy. Yeah. Bane is awesome, dude. Drogon was not pleased with that sucky sucky. He, he wasn't. He wasn't. He, he took it personally. Oh, man. Has that guy dropped against my trench again? Has he dropped against trench or is he still in that third battle? Any tips for proving grounds? No tips for proving grounds. I'm very sorry. His trench got three holds. Oh, oh, he killed what? I'm proud of him. I'm pr he got a unit, guys. Took three battles, but he got a unit. Man, our Trench is putting in a shift today. Trench is putting in a shift. Any, uh, yep, yeah, sorry. Oh, Bo. Um, her leadership is the most powerful one. The thing is, right now, she's getting pretty carried by her Datacron. It's kind of elevating her capabilities. I value her ability to ignore Taunt, personally. Uh, that's one of her Omicrons. Uh, but leadership is probably the most valuable. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our unaligned force users. Unaligned force users. We're going in with the big hitters. Don't want to waste armies? Yeah, right now, if you've got the Datacron, that's going to carry for the, for the meantime. So I'd recommend using that. All right. Um, I want anything with crit damage. What have we got for crit damage? This one over here? Absolutely. Let's rock with this one. All right. I think it's about time we teabagged Ray and her large forehead. Let's do this business. All right. Okay. Ray is looking like she really wants to have some rocks dropped directly on her forehead. I'm happy to oblige. I'm more than happy to oblige. Catch these rocks. All right. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Yeah, you can you can keep doing that. That's that's all good business in my books. All good business in my books. Oh, she's in damage immunity. Well, stuff happened, I guess. Stuff happened. 
has she got heal immunity right now? She does not. Let's put heal immunity on her. Let's not put heal immunity on her, I guess. Let's, let's not do that. There we go. Damage immunity. I mean, there's no point throwing rocks again just now. Uh, I don't feel like. So might as well just hit Cal. Good. Good. That was some good tanking action. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. All right. Let's just basic here. Did do do do. Again, no point in me throwing rocks right now because it's not going to do anything because of the damage immunity. The timing on this is kind of bad, truth be told. But there we go. Let's see how we get on. Tanked it. Tanked it, honey. This time. This time we're going to throw some rocks at you. This time we'll get some rocks in those faces. Boom. Love it. Can't kill him because she was above 50% health. Uh, oh, wow. That was good. That was real good. Let's get rid of that. Thank you. Now we can kill Ben. Thank you. Oh, did you have to? Did you have to with the heal immunity? Very rude. Very rude. This can't miss. Oh, God, <laughs> the assist. <laughs> that wasn't great banners. I think the heal immunity into the whirlwind, into the basic kind of sucked. But there we go. We got it done. We got it done. Hey, El Papi, how you doing today, buddy? Rock Star Destroyer, but who's counting? Yeah, any one of those would work. Any one of those would work. Um, and yeah, Star Killer's definitely. Oh, he's going in for Battle Five. Five. <sighs> um, Star Killer is definitely worth relicking up. I'd say R7 at a minimum for Star Killer. He is an attacker. You want to have lots of stats on him, and he gains additional benefits from having high health as well. So more relic levels is more goodness in my books. Five holds on Trench so far. What's on this guy's back wall? Do you think that counter would work with a Purple Gear Seer with the Omi? I mean, Seer's not the massively important part, but the problem there is that you lose all the Datacron uses as well. You might be able to, but realistically, you're going to want to have Seer relic Give your opponent a break, Scribe. No, I shall not. I refuse. Oh, wow. Okay, the back wall, he went light as a biscuit. I think he was planning on the south wall holding. I swear I had the game playing. I think we managed to time out that game crash pretty well. So I am giving my opponent a break, Revan. That's that's the break that I'm giving my opponent, is uh, my game crashing. Thankfully, while I was outside of combat. I, I'm, yeah, I think that's probably right, Revan. I think you're probably right, mate. He was like, quick, let's interrupt his battle so he can't win. Little did he know that I am Sir Scribble, and sometimes I'm not in battle. <laughs> A well-timed crash. That's the only ones that I know how to do. Well-timed crashes. A womp a moment for the back wall. We could probably womp some, something on the back wall. Yeah, I think so. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. We'll give our opponents another slight break so that we can climb in fleet. <laughs> climb in fleet, because I don't want to miss my fleet payout. I'm sure you all understand. Let's go and uh, face off against our good buddy Gates. Get that rolling. Wondering about my light biscuit. Light in weight or light in color or light in nutrition. All of the above. All, all of the above. It's a custard cream. There are no real nutrients in biscuits, just a crap load of sugar. You often use Wumper on Phasma. 60% of the time it works every time. Nice. I mean, I do have a Relic 9 Wumper. So I think that might give me uh, give me a slight advantage there. Just a slight advantage. Mass Assist. God damn it. When will I get to be able to actually disrupt protection? It's like not happened. Two battles in a row. Very, very rude. I demand a refund. Sure, let's do this. Lovely. Oh no. Alright, cool. Let's go over here. Hit you for extra turn meter. Thank you kindly, good sir. Thank you kindly. I shall kindly ask you to cease and desist. Just a basic. Rude. Very nice. Rude. 
Big hits. Not big enough, though. Still not big enough. That's what she said. Yep, yeah, he managed to cleanse off the heal immunity just in time. Just in time. Just what I always wanted. Let's, uh, let's call in this bad boy. Oh no, he's gone. It, it shouldn't matter. It matters not. Uh, who have we got here? We've got you. And we'll gain some more TM. Because why not? Here he comes with his reinforcement. And kablamo, it's gone. Power right in the kisser. And we should be at ult now, I think. Yeah, ult, take away his capital. My capital ship, not yours. That usually means we win. He who ults first wins most. That's as this old adage goes, I believe. Just basic. Flip it on back and reverse it, because it's worth it. So let me work it. Um, Yeah, we'll do the AoE here. We'll do the AoE here. Mass assist. Can you please get rid of that silly little chip? Thank you. That's all I was asking. All I was asking. And now we'll call in the Tide Dagger. And we'll put it on order while we wait. So what do you guys think? Do you think by the time we get back in, he will have beaten Trench finally? Battle number six? I think probably battle number six will be the one for Trench, because we no longer have what? No longer have what tambour. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is the mic work? Yes, it looks like it's working once again. Sorry about that, guys. Stupid stuff happens. To quote everyone in 2020 to 2021, you're muted. Indeed, indeed. Talk about that, uh, that COVID, that COVID Teams talk. I mean, considering I work remotely every day, uh, I still get that quite a bit. All right, cool. So that's us in number one in fleet. Let's let's return. If he's got more than 705 banners, we know he's probably cleared through the trench. Oh, he beat our trench finally. Dang nabbit. I was hoping trench would hold that north wall till the end of time. But nope. He finally used something to beat it. You stopped being here after the sixth battle for trench. Yeah, he finally took down trench. Battle number five was the one that did it. Battle, I mean, that's still very respectable. Good on you, Trench. Good on you. Five battles, I will take. I'll take five battles. <laughs> Good old Trench, man. What, what, what a gentleman. What a gentleman and a scholar. So is he going for fleet first or is he going for south wall? Looks like he's probably going for fleet. And that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind him going for fleet. I put trashy fleet defense down. We, we were counting on our Trench to uh, get us a bunch of banners. So, yep, he's not started attacking yet. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's also reveal his fleet, and then we'll clear up south. That's what I think we'll do. Hopefully we can be nice and clean here. Nice and clean, clean as a whistle. Let's start off with a Malak solo, I think. Where's my Malak? There he is. Oh, there he is. I would like to have another one of these. That'll do. Let's get it. Malak, your time has come. How did you struggle so much against Trench? Because Trench is a Don Harmony. Was it because of what? Um, well, it's a combination of things, I imagine. Probably what, the Kron, other things, I guess. How dare you throw rocks at me, sir? Throw rocks, sir? At me, sir? How very dare you. How very dare you. All right, let's uh, suck off Malakos. Good. Now get feared. Thank you. How dare you? Let's remove that. That's right, sir. Oi! Who said you could do that? That's right. Nobody said you could do that. Let's suck him off again. Stop doing that. 
like he, he seems to have had that every turn he's taken a turn um okay let's uh let's keep malikos nice and feared i think and you certainly need to stop doing that that's very irritating let's hit him so he tries to fear himself The amount of times that he's done that now. This is getting frustrating now. Because he keeps ramping, obviously, and she keeps timing it out rather perfectly. Alright. Counter attack. No, for God's sake. Can you stop with the goddamn stuns? The two turn stuns coming out of crew. He's had it every single turn so far. Every turn. Stop it. Crew. Every turn! Every turn he's like, two turns done. Stop it. Please trigger that bonus turn. Any second now. Watch him go in now and stun me. Alright, oh, hold up. Suck him off. There we go. We're done. We got it. We nailed it. It's all good. Malak with the miss. Basic you. That's right. That's right. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? <laughs> Alright, suck her off once. Beautiful. Might as well go ahead and hit her, I guess. Of course, Crew's just going to have that off cooldown whenever he wants, I think. There we go. And then we'll just auto. Cool. We did it. The bold one is strong. The bold one is definitely strong. Definitely, definitely strong. Let's actually just go in and hit auto basic. It's probably easier. It would help if you landed your hits, though. Crew, you're a very mischievous individual. I hope you know that. I hope you realise that you're very mischievous. But you can't win this one-on-one. -on -one. This one-on-one -on -one is mine to win. Not yours. My achievement, not yours, as they say. The battle of the basics right now. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. It would be good to finish him off with, uh, with the first special. Because I think it does more damage and hopefully it will heal us up. Oh, whoops. There we go. We got it. 59, full health, full protection. This is why you don't set that team on defense. So you're very juicy F word on your face with those crew stuns. Yes, yes, that was that was that was from the soul. That was deep from from my soul. Alright, so we've got uh we've got DTMG. So I guess it's time to whip whip out the Sith Empire. Let's get this done. First special stuns might make it easier. Oh we don't we don't need to worry too much. Like crew can't hurt us. We hurt him. So eventually we win. Eventually we win. Right. Sure, we'll use this. That sounds good. Even two for trench is more than enough? You're right, Devon. You're absolutely right. Hey, Aslan, how's it going? Uh, what's your thoughts on R5 Bane with Banecron versus Lord Vader Reaver Royal Guard with Doubtcron? Never tried it, Aslan. Give me a moment to concentrate on my battle. I'll have a think about it. I'll have a think about it. Go for the old yeet. Let's keep that fear rolling. Um, yep, nobody is currently in fear. So let's uh, let's get that shock rolling. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely with the AOEs. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, no, I should be basicing him over there. That's my bad. That's my bad. Let's go ahead and hit Dark Troop. Or oh, let's just go ahead and miss. That also works. That also... Uh, well, we're losing her. That's the joy of this team when they've got doubt. It's like, yep, you may well just ignore taunts and then uh, and then find yourself in a sticky situation where that dark trooper just yeets you out of existence. But uh, we should still be okay, I reckon. I hope, anyway. Weren't you feared? Fear. Let's get this Gideon. Eventually we'll get this Gideon. Only you are currently feared, that's okay. I could really use another big hit coming out of our boy Malgus. Like this. 
Oh, come on! With the dodge, really? With the dodge? <sighs> That's gonna cost us. That's really gonna cost us. I cannot believe he dodged that big... I thought that big hit was unavoidable. Right? That, that may well cost us the match. Truth be told, that one dodge may well cost us the match. God damn, man. Well, not the match, but this round. Yeah, it looks like it's going to cost us this battle. Um, not a whole lot I can do about it. But we should have killed this Dark Trooper Moff Gideon already. He should be dead. But um, not having much hope there, are we? That's so insulting, man. That dodge was so insulting. God damn. I need to get round to uh, another... I need to get round to another yeet, but even then, I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill him, because he's just recovering. Yeah. That was so insulting, man. That was so insulting. About to kill him, and he just full odds dodge. Uh, does DR do this better? No, Bazinga. DR is statistically worse banners. Statistically worse banners. Um, by all metrics. We just got incredibly kicked in the penis there by bad RNG. Um, okay, so thoughts on R5 Bane with Banecron versus Lord Vader Reva Royal Guard with Doubtcron. It might work depending on the support. I would be very hesitant. We're being banner stingy today? No, but it's just good practice to use the counter that works better. Generally speaking, if you're given an option, do you want the counter that has a higher success rate and higher banners or lower success rate and lower banners? Which one would you choose? Which one would you choose? Would it, would it be the one with the better success rate and the better banners, or the one with the lower success rate and lower banners? I think it's a pretty easy answer. <laughs> Alright, cool. We definitely don't need to be banner pinching, that's for sure. Which one is more fun? I like the one that wins. Depends on if I have the counter for other teams. Well, it's using the same three units, Senest. Using the same three units. So, it, like, the counters don't matter because it's the same units that you're using. Exact same units, different comp. Do you use the one that has the better success rate and the better banners or the one with the worst success rate and the worst banners? Let's close that one down. All right, so we need to think of what we're going to use against DTMG now. That's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a laugh and a half. We've got plenty, though. We've got plenty. We have plenty available to us. So let's just see what we've got on DTMG right now. DTMG with Scout and Gideon. Um, okay. I wasn't listening to the full question. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so Reva we could jabber, I guess. Reva we could jabber. The Maul we could probably Treya, I guess. We could Treya that. So, ja uh, sorry. Jabber. We'll use um, JMK here. Not JMK, sorry. Um, Basti lead Jedi Knight Cal. So we'll go in with this squad here. Although, do we have to? Because, I mean, I could just, I could just, you know, like, use JML to guarantee the victory. Alright, let's take a look, see what we have available. Not a whole lot as far as friendly Kron goes. I think maybe we just go in with JML. We'll just go in with JML. Because there's no reason for us to... Um... You know, sacrifice something here. Like, we should just... We should just win, I think. Taking this. That's got, uh... 80... 85% extra pro. Let's roll with it. You're going to do more Dragon's Dogma streams? Uh, Kaicho, I'm back to work now, unfortunately, so... So I'll have to, um... I'll have to... I'll have to put a stop to those streams. I wish I could, but unfortunately, 
work doth backen. Let's pass this over here. Uh, let's actually save that. Let's just do a basic here. Yep, in comes all the fear. Call him in. Good night. Do this, and now we'll get the old Armour Shredderino. Increase the cooldowns, I guess. No reason not to. Call him in. Boop. Pass the turns over to Snack T, because she a snack. Snack T can then, I don't know, call you in. It doesn't look like we're going to need Jedi Cal. I think we're doing enough damage with our call to assist. So, um, that's nice. Because I can just... Actually, should we just yeet out DR? Get rid of him. And then we can finish up like that. Easy money. Full banners. Good. Reva was the final tune standing. Nice, Aslan. Bane with sass pulled it into... Pulled it in. Nice! <laughs> oh. Using a GL to kill Malgus. I know, I know. Uh, right, so we'll jabber, we'll jabber the Reaver then, I guess. Jabber Reaver. We still got a load of GLs. Actually, couldn't we just like... Doesn't C set work against this or something? I have four GLs left. Oh, we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot available right now. Let's go new. Reaver. This and this. What's, what's good banners? What's good banners? Out of the GLs that I have left. Jabba's 97% win ratio. We don't have what available, obviously. Yeah, looks like, um, looks like we'll just go Jabba. We'll just take Jabba here. With the Hut Cartel. Let's go get him. You and you. Sidkron can also solo Malgus. Can it really? That's incredible. That's really cool. I wasn't aware of that. Um, we could do percentile damage. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean... Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> Don't be an idiot like me and use your Sidkron against Malgus with Malak. Ooh, yeah, I mean, that's going to be permanent fear, basically, isn't it, Wu Kang? Um, I don't have Sidkron this lock-in anyway, unfortunately. But yes, everybody else should, should not be like Wu Kang. Alright, keep third sister controlled. That's the name of the game at the moment. And yeah, we'll just uh, just yeet out some grenades here. Get some of those assists on the Grand Inquisitor. Because I really want to really deal with the Grand Inquisitor first and foremost. That's what I want to do. Oh. We have one thermal detonator on him. Let's get more. Oh, sugar. I didn't see the taunt trigger. I saw not the taunt trigger. Okay, yeah, let's break our arms. Santi's doubt over there, stopping us from being able to, uh, to, to taunt. Can we get the blind? We do have the blind. Oh, it looks like GI is going to pop his clogs any second now. Let's just keep throwing some thermals on him, just for good measure. Let's see if we can blind Reaver. Good, Reaver is officially blind. Are you blind? He's like, yes, yes I am. Oh, you absolute. Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. I thought GI was literally going to die from those thermals. And then she was like, no, actually, I think I'll just heal him. Just heal him right before. Right before, that's the time that I'm going to heal him. Right. I dislike you profusely. Because now I'm going to lose her and that's going to make me very, very sad. Let's get the blind on you. I'm hoping he just blows himself up now. He's got five thermal detonators for- Oh, you! You need to go away! I hate you! I hate her so much. 
I hate her so much. That's twice she's done that to me. That's so rude. That is so flipping rude, man. Like, twice, GI's been about to die, and she's been like, no, I'll just heal him up fully. Like, they can't win is the annoying part, but they're just sapping all the banners, and that's just annoying. That's just annoying. Uh, right, okay. Let's do this. Welcome back, Santi. For now. That seventh sister, she's going to get it in the neck. She, she, she will get it officially in the neck. That's, that's, that's my pledge from now on. Like, seventh sister is going to die. She will die a most painful death. And I will laugh, and she will cry. That's right. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm eating her first out of principle. Out of principle, I'm eating her first. Stupid. I don't like her. I don't like her. She looks funny. Ooh. Now we're just going to basic her forever. Let's just go auto basic. Auto basic and wait for us to hit ult. That's what we're going to do. I don't like her face. I don't like her person. I don't even like her name. Seventh sister. Ugh. Stupid. I don't like her hat either. Who does she think she is? Alrighty then. We're uh, we're coming close to the to the ult again, which is nice. This time we're gonna eat Reva. Reva, we're gonna eat your shorts. Aw, I was really hoping GI would die there. Alright, Reva, you can get eaten. Um now I'll just put it on full order. Stupid Reva. Stupid Reva. I don't like her. We win. Hey, who'd have thought it? Just watch your vid unlocking Ray's ultimate. Made it look easy. I try. Thank you, buddy. Okay, cool. So, DTMG. DTMG. Let's see, we, we've got three GLs to choose from. Uh, three GLs to choose from. Let's go DTMG and see see what, what are people using. DTMG. We've got Scout and we've got Moff Gitters. Down here, Defending Primary, we'll take that. And uh, I'm going to assume it has that and that. Which GL is best? Can't use you. Can't use you either. Slacker. Slacker has got high success rate, but uh, pretty trashy banners. C has got pretty bad success rate. <laughs> do, 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 do. Lord Vader has very high success rate, but again, trashy banners, and that's with Maul. All right, cool. I guess we'll go with Slacker in a full full team then. Do I have any more doubt? I have no more doubt, unfortunately. He used his APK? I mean, that's true. For most of my videos, I do turn on the APK. For most of them, I do. Because it just makes me look like I'm so much better. That way, it sort of justifies all the people that say this doesn't work when they when they watch my videos. Because they, they seem pretty, pretty dead set on that. Pretty dead set on the fact that my stuff doesn't work. Which is nice, you know? It's nice. It's validating. My days does that thing hurt. Alright. I was really kind of hoping that uh, we'd finish off the scout trooper there. Yeah, you're dying. <laughs> Let's just absorb the mastery, I guess. I mean, I'm a little bit worried about that uh, dark trooper. Because it does hurt. Let's do a basic on him. Get rid of those stacks. Those stack. Over here. Sappy, sappy. Okay, good. Good. Oh, how dare you. That's very rude. That's very rude. Did nobody tell you that you shouldn't do such things because it's mean? I guess nobody did tell him that. 
Boop. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep stunning him. Boop. Oh my god. That is terrifying, mate. Absolutely terrifying. Horrifying. Horrifying. I, I'm going into ult. I don't. I don't even care. I like. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm scared of that dark trooper, man. I'm scared of him. He terrifies me. He terrifies me. All right. There we go. Should be fine now. Yeah, one stack isn't going to do enough damage. Let's keep on zapping. There we go. And poke him. Lovely. And poke him. Lovely. Cool. That dark trooper was terrifying, dude. Ooh. You looked at my Gak and my fleet gave me the win. Opponent tripped on them, so this Gak will be 2-1. Nice one, Kaiju. What is an APK? Indeed, what is APK? Who? Who is APK? I think we're going with C over here. I feel like C what? C set, rather. I think this will be my best uh, solution here. Almost did not know what to do yesterday without your three-hour tribe talks. Oh, I'm sorry, Robbie, dude. I was... Uh, I was supposed to be back at home, but my, um, I kind of got guilt tripped into staying at home. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Let the sucky sucky commence. That's what I say. That's what I say. Sure, let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's keep it on Savage, and then I'm going to chuck it over over here on Malak so that we can get rid of him. Your job is to build my ultimeter. Go forth and build ultimeter. Thank you. Time for the ult. Let's go. Happy Easter, Robbie. Hope you had a nice time. Oh, Savage, you big doo-doo head. Very rude. We did it. 55. Do you believe the data mine is legit? Uh, I'm not sure, Jack. T truth be told, mate. I'm genuinely not sure. I'm not sure. It looks relatively legit. But it's not something that we don't already have it like all those assets we already have in the game. So I think it is legit, but it could well be an April Fool's joke. All right, let's deal with fleet first. Alrighty, he's gone big boy defense on fleet. Good job we went little boy defense on fleet. Let's start off with a little bit of Leviathan mirror action. Let's start off with a little bit of Leviathan mirror action. Not you. Not you either. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good to me. This looks pretty good to me. Let's do it. When has Fleet ever gone wrong for us in the past? The answer is never. Because we're too good at Fleet. Alrighty then. Let's start it off. Kick it off, something rotten. Boom, get the TM gains. Beautiful. Mass assist. Oh, wow, we got rid of the protection. That's kind of huge. Kind of huge that we got rid of that protection straight away. All right. Guess we didn't land the heal immunity first time. I'm actually going to stop him from being able to reinforce. Keep it up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bye, Sith fighter. Pro tip, if they got Dagger on the bench, they'll never reinforce with the Interceptor first. 
if they got a fighter on the starting lineup, there's no way they reinforce with the um, thingamabob. Yeah, if the um, if the Sith fighter is on the starting lineup, they'll always reinforce with the um, the interceptor first turn. If they've got dagger, they'll reinforce with the Sith fighter if it's on the bench, obviously. Do 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 do. So we are ahead on the um, on the alt race right now, like quite a bit. And they don't have a Sith fighter. And it targets it over here. <laughs> Unlucky. AoE. Take over their capital. Lovely. Alrighty then. They didn't even get to stop one of our reinforcements. Not sure how that happened, but I'll let it slide. AoE. I mean, I could reinforce with this, but I don't see the point, truth be told. All I'll be doing is sacrificing banners. If we can get rid of that, that would be nice. Yeah, there we go. One ship less to worry about. Very rude. Heal up. Let's stop you from taking a turn. Thank you kindly. Nice hit, bro. Might as well do an AoE here. Just time it out, baby. Time it out. Big hits. Good night. Good night. Lovely. Lovely. And he gets feared. Beautiful. Beautiful. 70 banners I'll take. Oh, Batman is usually rude, always poofing without saying a goodbye. What? Okay, so we got Profundity and we got Triple Attacker. Profundity and Triple Attacker. So Profundity we could theoretically... We could mirror, but do I have... Do I have the Imperial TIE Bomber? We do have the TIE Bomber. So we could mirror that. And then we could... I mean, I does Negotiator work well? Does Negotiator work well against this? I have no idea. I'm willing to science it. Have you ever played any of the Elder Scrolls games? Yeah, I played a lot of Skyrim, Kaiju. Played a lot of Skyrim. Has anybody tried a Negotiator with Marauder against Exec, Triple Attacker? I've never tried it, so I don't know how it would go. I'm willing to check out Sogoro.gg there. So... His lead is Executor, and he's going in with a triple attacker start. So, obviously Profundity is the standardized counter. Pretty good win ratio, actually. Oh, hang on, now that's with an R9 Plo, isn't it? Is that with an R9 Plo, I think? Plo, Plo, Plo in the starting lineup. Or like R7 Plo. Everybody uses Plo here to force the taunt. I'm guessing it's uh, a high relic plow. It's not showing the relic levels, so that's not very useful. Plow needs to be faster than IG and Executor. Yeah, yeah, my plow isn't relic at all, Veith. He's only gear 11. So that's not going to work for me. So I might have to... I might have to... We're going to have a hard time beating that profundity. We're going to have a hard time beating that Profundity then. Unless Negotiator does good work against Profundity. But I can't remember if it does. Because it's not a counter that I'm used to. Let's see. Mm, doesn't look... Hang on. Let, let's make our lives easier by just throwing Nego over here. Let's see. 
Yeah, 44, 45 is not a great, is not great odds. We might need to preload. That's why you need the speed advantage. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. You run Rex, haven't failed with it. Plow Y-Wing. Annie Marauder Rex. Yeah, Plow what? Annie Marauder Rex. So what, against this you've you've gone Anakin Marauder Rex? And you've reinforced with like Plow? And Y Wing? You've you've done this before against Triple Attacker. Yeah, sure. Send me a vid, MJ. I'm, I'm ha I'll be happy to watch that. I haven't seen it. I've never seen it done. So, any information is good information. It's been a while since I've seen triple meta defense. Do do do. Um. I run that. Fi oh, thank you, buddy. Let me uh, let me grab that link. Let me grab that link real quick. Ah, uh, son of a gun. Sorry, I'm having a hard time grabbing the link. From chat. There we go. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, so Marauder. What are we looking at? R5. God almighty, what? Okay, so R5, R6, R4. R7, R6, R5s. Okay, that's fine, I guess. So how does this go? How does this go? They start out, they do a mass assist, they go in for Anakin, you do a mass assist and go for their IG-88. And kill it. Holy moly. AoE, I take it? Yep. Recover on Rex, on um, Anakin rather. Recover on Anakin again. Yep, cool, makes sense. All of this makes sense so far. And now you go after Xanadu. Ooh, losing Rex kind of sucks, but there we go. One tap, nice. Now it's the Y-Wing. Yeah, this makes sense so far. He's probably going to reinforce with uh, Hound's Tooth. But by that point, I feel like the battle's done. Honestly, I probably would have basic there. Yep, there's Hound's Tooth. All of this makes sense so far. AoE. Oh, nice. The buff immunity landing is kind of sick. Basic. I'll do great damage. Reinforce with Plow now. Yeah, I mean, this all makes total sense. It might not work this way for me, but I'm willing to try this. It looks pretty legit. It looks pretty legit. Let's, um, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's find out what happens when we do it. Unfortunately, his thing is R8, so that's a little bit scarier. But, um, we might still be okay. I'll take in some extras just in case. Nice one, Chester. Yeah, nasty banners. Nasty banners. But we don't need to worry about actual banners. So much. Okay, so they should be going over here. Ooh, that's actually really good for us. That's really good for us. I'm just going to do basic over here. And then we're going to do the mass assist on IG-88. He's going to die. Huge. Uh, let's hide Anakin. Let's give Anakin some TM. Stupid double tap. I'll do the AoE here just to get some chip damage. It's really tempting to actually just go in with Plow. I'm actually, I'm just going to call him Plow here. Get the extra turn meter right at the rip. 
See if we can get rid of uh, Cad. Basic. I don't want him hiding. Alright. Pretty happy so far. Let's get this in. Yep, all good so far. Let's uh let's let's actually bring it over to Marauder to taunt. Do the AoE here. There's no point bringing out, um, I mean, I suppose we could, could bring this out. We can't get rid, unfortunately, we can't get rid of the taunt because we've got um, direct, uh, we've got marked. We got the buff immunity though, and then he cleansed it immediately. Does that cleanse? It doesn't. I was really hoping that would cleanse. Get the turn meter. Uh, yeah, let's increase their cooldowns. Who are they bringing in? Yep, that makes sense. This is where it might go a bit pear-shaped for us. I don't actually want to eat that counter-attack right now. That's actually really good for us. Yeah, let's get rid. Huge, got the daze over there. Keep him alive. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have dealt with... Saved it for him. What have we got over here? No. <whistles> Keep him alive. Now we just need the damage, more than anything. Okay, so now I'll reinforce. Let's recover there. Reinforce now. Hopefully get a good hit. Ah, nice. TM over here. Cool. Got it. Thanks, MJ. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, my man. Alrighty. So we should be okay here. Not you. Taking you. Get the Imperial Tide Bomber. We shouldn't need any other reinforcements, but we might as well take in some sort of rebel ships just in case. Appreciate you, MJ. That was a solid counter, dude. Solid counter. All right, let's clean up his last fleet. Clean up the last fleet. I mean, obviously the banners aren't great at 70, but we'll, we'll make do. Oh, nice dodge, bro. Nice dodge. Uh, yep. Call him in. Oh, he gets all of the assists. Of course he does. We should still be fine. It's just, he's, you know, just getting all of the assists because he's a douche. It's the only benefit to losing your Rebel Y-Wing is that you can, you, um, you'll always call in the Outrider on the basic from Millennium Falcon then. Um, now let's just go all in. Pew, 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 pew. Let's get rid of you. Lovely. Very rude. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. Let's go after you. Nice. I'm not going to do that burning because he's about to do a wiggle. And he'd just help cleanse it off. Alright, good stuff. Oop. 
Let's uh, go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of download, upload, inside, outside, upside, downside. Rude. Sure, let's just call it in. Just call it in. Trashy banners again, but hey-ho. We'll take it. 70 banner average. Hey, Vin, how's it going? You just had 17 defensive holds on two zones. Holy moly. Well, we, we, we proved that Trench does indeed belong on the bench, but in a good way. Our Trench managed to get us some good holds. Uh, we got five holds on Trench, which was nice. Got two over there on Aiden. We got some on uh, Fin Finzori as well. Uh, down south, we also did get some uh, holds, I believe. Yeah, I got a hold on Kelleran. And he's just kind of um, not done anything since opening fleet. So I, th I think he's dropped a lot of battles. So I think he's probably waiting to see if I can clear. Because I've dropped one so far in the most ridiculous manner. Uh, but his back wall is kind of trash. So his back wall is kind of trash. Um, okay, well, somebody told me to go ahead and wumper this uh, this team here. So I'm, I'm a wumper this team. Why not? Whenever that a little bit, but bam. I mean, sure, let's go with this. I don't think it really matters. It's, it's, it's an R9 Wumper. We should be okay. Hey, what's going on, Tulog? Yeah, I think we got this one. I think we got this one. Wumps does Wump things. Time to womp it on out. R9 Wumper with the Stomper. He's gonna go chomping. Come on, Mr. Wumping. Nice. Slap him. Slap him again. And whap. Wumper did it. Wumper did it. Kaicho, you said it. Good man, Kaicho. Good man. So yeah, we got some weird stuff. We got some weird stuff going on. We have plenty for offense as well. I mean, I got Lord Vader here. Pretty certain Lord Vader solo is this. I feel like Lord Vader should solo this. That new level 3 uh, Datacron with for 20% bonus protection at the start of battle is incredibly nice for one per It is actually, Devin. Yeah. It is. So I've got the one over here with Mark. So I'm going to focus over here and I'm just going to do this at the start. So he's now marked. Which means I can ignore the taunt. Oh, now the Mark has swapped. Okay, fine. See if I care, you big doo-doo head. He immediately cleansed it, which has got me angry. That's right, angrier than your average picnic basket. Anyway, allow us to continue to uh, land some debuffs on them and heal up. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, dots are eating them. Dots are eating them. Eventually, they will dot themselves out. I mean, I like my odds at the moment. I really do like my odds. I don't like their odds. I don't like their odds in this. No, their odds were not so great. 59. It's hard life. It's hard life. All right, so need something to deal with that nest. What have we got? We've got a Momo team over here. Oh my God, we still have uh, um, Jedi Knight Luke. We still have Jedi Knight Luke. We've still got Fennec. So we have Bounty Hunters. Could use Bounty Hunters to deal with this team, I suppose. And Jedi Knight Luke down there, I guess. I, I guess they don't, Vin. I guess they don't. Let's go Bounty Hunters then. What are we thinking? I mean, I imagine this works. Can't imagine why not. Can't imagine why not. 
I, yeah, I, I guess he doesn't have Zori unless he tried to take her for offense with something. But it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I think that was contract. That was indeed contract. Bye, Nast. Alright. That's that dealt with, I guess. The good thing about Bosk is the, the recovery is usually pretty good. The recovery is usually pretty good on this team. So it's usually okay for banners. Yeah, we're at full. Goodbye. Nice. <sighs> Alright, so we got Momo and some trashy Tarkin team. We'll be here fully shortly. Just hit a level 76 hype. Are you serious? A level 76 hype train? What the hell happened, Womp Rat? Did Bill Gates just drop a million pounds? 76? That's insane, dude. That is insane. I'm so happy for you, man. Uh, let's actually go in with Jedi here. Uh, we're going you, you. Yeah, let's take you. Oh, not your stream. Whose stream was it, dude? Whose stream was it? What was the occasion? 76. That's insane. Do you know anything about the next big capital ship? I don't know anything, Wesley, to be honest. I've no idea where it's going to go. No idea. It's kind of peculiar. Because I'm not sure how how they're going to go about doing another capital ship, you know? Genuinely don't know how they're going to do it. Because it doesn't feel like right now we have a whole lot of choice and the options available to us kind of don't make sense. Because, I, I, you know, I don't see why we should be getting more... Like Galactic Republic capital ships, for instance. I don't... Like, why would we be doing that? It just doesn't make sense. Uh, Separatist is probably the best bet. But even that, it's kind of like, hmm. One of the best teams right now. Last two fights, you had 13 holds with her. With with what, Vin? Did I... I, I must have missed what you, uh, what you were talking about. Pirate Software is an April Fool's. Wants the 100 emote. Ah, Pirate Software is great. He's really good. The chat moves too fast. I bet it does. Let's go Adrad. Going with Adrad to finish off here. I did, even. Yeah, I did. And uh, B2 as well, right? It was B2 Rocket Droid. I hope the next capital ship is the Resolute, but I think it's a Luca Hulk. Ah, okay. I don't think the Resolute really makes much sense. It could be, of course, but I, 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 I have a hard time, um, like, actually justifying it being that. But uh, maybe, it, maybe it will be. Maybe it will be the Resolute. I think Gerbil was saying it may be Anakin's Resolute, replacing the Negotiator the way the Profundity replaced the Home One. But why is like why is the main question, right? Why is the main question? I'm not sure why. Because, like... Oh, well, that's that's the full clear. Um, because they've just released the Marauder, which was supposed to lift up the Endurance. That would, Like, it was tied in to uplift the Endurance, but of course the Endurance just went straight to Negotiator because it consolidated power better. So if they were going to do something, wouldn't they try and enhance the Endurance? to try and draw the clone trooper back over there. And again, that wouldn't be like, there's no point in introducing a new capital ship that's going to take the Marauder away again. And it makes even less sense to replace the Negotiator. I have to feel like it has to do something other than that, right? Unless when the Resolute comes in, it takes away everything that's useful to the Negotiator and the leftovers work really well with the Endurance. But I don't know how that works either. It just doesn't make sense. You know, I don't know why they would go to the effort to re release the Marauder saying it's an uplift for the Endurance and then replace the Negotiator, you know? 
That's the part that uh, confuses me. Finzori Rose. Yeah, that sounds sick, dude. Is that with the Omicron on Rose as well? They need a dozen more regular ships before they put out more capital ships. I do feel like we need more um, ships first. Might require R9 Ahsoka Rex gas, adding some GR ships like Padme ship. I'm hoping we do get Padme ship. I do hope we get uh, the Royal Naboo Starfighter. Rose with the Omicron, way better. Hell yeah. The lifter for endurance. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe more clone ships. Yeah, I'd be down for it. Um, okay. Well, we got our full clear. I don't think Clem is like I Clem is out of the running now. He I don't think he can beat that score because he's dropped too many battles, I think. But we might be wrong. We might be wrong. Go ahead and claim them. Oh, excuse me, I do apologize. That's um that was rather loud. Sincerest apologies, everybody. Padme ship would be similar to Malgus needed interceptor. Thank you, guys. Um, would be similar to Malgus's needed Malgus needed interceptor. Fury class interceptor. Oh, sorry. You you mean like we had a conquest for Malgus and then we had a conquest for his ship? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Resolute would be with the clones, in my opinion. Marauder is a lifter for endurance, while Resolute isn't here yet. Okay, that makes some sense. If you're saying it's a clone ship. A clone fleet. So it would take, like, Rex and Fives and the Marauder. But then Anakin would have to be, like, a Jedi fleet. Let's just go clones. So what have we got? Taking those is is fine, I guess. It's not ideal to lose Umbaran Starfighter, but it's not the end of the world for the negotiator to not have that. So maybe. Maybe it could be. Maybe it could be. They'll just have to make it super focused towards clones, I guess. Resolute is the capital ship, mostly with clones. Okay, this makes sense then. Yeah, I could see it happening. They could just say... Marauder was actually supposed to be for the Resolute. Ta-da! Screw the Endurance. Screw the Endurance. They'll update the text here to say something like, you know, if it's the Endurance or the, um, or the Resolute. Because it has got something in his text about the Endurance, hasn't it? At least I thought it did. I swear it's got something somewhere in its kit that talks specifically towards the endurance, but whatever. The hype train is unreal. Hell yeah. Jibble is normally spot on with analysis of what comes next. Yeah, I agree. Especially when he says about the new Lego stuff come out and shortly after those things appear in Swagger. I can't say I've looked at a lot of his theory craft. What, what is he saying? We get stuff for Lego when it comes to the game? That makes sense. That makes sense because I feel like Disney mandates a lot of what has to come out. And they're obviously trying to push everything all at once. So, you know, sort of you've got like one version of the truth across all brands of Star Wars, as it were. He's going for a world record of 100 hype train. Ah, I mean, a level 100 hype train. Why not? Why, why not? Why not? Bip, bim. Why not try and push for a level 100 hype train? Where's the harm in that? He's nearly at level 80. That is insane. Somebody needs to tell Karth to go in there and bump it up a level or two. Valor is both with Endurance and Nego. True. Do, do, do. Make sure you guys do your Gungan special mission for your bomb it boomadier. Make sure you do that. The community already said he won't let it fail. Nice. Yep, make sure you guys get your boomadiers done. These ones over here. We need to be getting these shards. We'll be getting our seven star boomer soon enough. His name is um, uh, Pirate Software. 
well, his name is Thor, but his channel's called Pirate Software. His channel's blown up in, like, the last year or so, I think. Ooh, excuse me. The Resolute comes, it would only need to have a negotiator's kit with Endurance's ult to be great. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it would be a little bit more different than that. <laughs> and they, they shouldn't just be copying kits, you know? should be something a little bit different. Now, I remember in my last stream, somebody was talking about vehicles coming to the game. Apparently, CG said something about the reworking on vehicles. I don't recall reading that, but has anybody corroborated that yet? Ek, 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 ek. Lego releases new stuff, and short time after it comes to Sugar as well, kind of Disney approves new stuff. Yeah, no, of course, that makes total sense. That makes total sense to me, because Disney are obviously marketing new stuff to come out. Their merchandise probably makes up a large bulk of their sales. So anything that has any sort of cross cross-selling or cross-exposure across multiple platforms, they're going to try and push at once, aren't they? It makes sense. I think it's actually less about Lego themselves and more just about Disney pushing stuff across different platforms. Makes total sense to me. Do does the infinity capper last longer it lasts forever i think mj i think that's the whole point an infinity capper would be fire <laughs> i'm well i I'm, I'm hoping he hits it i'm hoping he hits it it'd be amazing if he does like he would have to be breaking records with gifted subs at that point surely surely to get to a level 100 hype train that must be incredibly difficult the man has just completely exploded recently hasn't he all right we need another 25 oh i need to do my ultimate journey event rip fandango World record was 69 at 78%. Now it's the new world record. Nice. I don't know why I decided to do Sea Bane. I just thought, why not? When in Huggies. When in Huggies. When in Rome. While in Huggies. Whilst in Huggies. Let's just go all in on Ray, I guess. We can, we can get Ben with AoEs. That makes sense to me. Boop. Zappity zappity. Clappity clappity. Clippity cloppity. Zappity bloppity. Oh yeah, sure, let's go into ult. Why not? Here it comes. Bane eats the whirlwind like an absolute boss. Tickler. Whop. Have I played Star Wars Hunters? I've not played it, Vin. Um, last I saw with Star Wars Hunters, wasn't it like only a active in certain zones, areas? Has it actually had a worldwide release now? I can't remember what I need to do. Bane's Spear of Bonk. I mean, Bane does like to bonk. That much is true. Don't clip that. Ah, yes. I recall now. We'll do a little bit of the Whirlwinds. I'll go all in on General Sucks. Let's, uh, let's do another whirlwind. Get rid of you. Get rid of all those buffs. And let's do this. 
Rude, rude, rude. That's a whirlwind you. Ouchies. Feel like I kind of have to go into ult right now just to protect people. So let's do that. Although this guy at the back, this First Order Elite Raider, he just does not want to die at all, does he? Never mind. <laughs> Get wrecked. What's the hype train? Uh, yeah, it's, it's when people donate subs or money. It generates a hype train. The, the more that happens... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The more that happens, the more the hype train level increases. Can you do this with a solo slacker? I'm curious. Let's find out. Yeah, builds hype trains. It, it's essentially a way of generate. Well, not a way of generating money, but it does generate money for uh, for the streamer. I mean, it's starting to look a little bit painful because they took about thirteen hundred turns before I took one. But maybe now we'll start to. Uh, that C three PO should theoretically be uh, ramping us, right? All right, I think we just flat out die. Yeah. Okay, we definitely need a team for that. If people... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. People gifting stuff builds up a hype train. Not you. Let's get First Order Officer. And the rest sounds fine. Hopefully we don't lose a unit before we get a turn, but... Their speed is so fast that even their res bros can outspeed my GL. Which is kind of nerdy. It's kind of nerdy. And I think their Ray gets two turns for R1. Alright. Cool. So, let's stun the Ray. Hey, Gebaholic. Thank you for becoming a YouTube man member. What a nice, nice gentleman you are. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome to the tribe. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was Korea. Oh my god, Korea came in and gifted 20 subs to the community. Oh my god, Korea. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> Absolute legend, man. God damn, 20 gifted subs. Oh, hang on, I'm on the wrong screen. 20 gifted subs to the community. A level 80 hype train? Is that level 80 already? Oh my days, that is insane. Thank you so much, Korea brothers. You guys are awesome. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. God damn. Can we get some uh, W's in the chat for the Korea brothers? They're absolutely incredible individuals that are supporting Swagger communities across the board. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I need to get another turn. Oh, well, this should work. There you go. Two turn, two turns done over here. Get rid of Res Hero Finn. If we can uh, just pull back the turn meter. Thank you, guys. The W's in the chat for the careers. Been going on for one hour and 20 minutes. That is such a long hype train, dude. Dang nabbit, thank you, Careers. You guys are awesome. Um, ooh. That was close. Just about got back around here, so let's keep you stunned. Need to get rid of the other ads, really. Um, I'm not going to pass the turn just yet. I think it's not, not warranted. Because we're about to take a turn anyway, so let's keep her stunned. Oh. Yep, we're okay here. Alright, all in. If we can get rid of units, all the better. I'm going to pass the turn over here. Get the two turns stun on Ray. Keep her stunned forever. Let's uh, get rid of you. Or not get rid of you, apparently. If you c if you can take out Ray first. Ah, oh, there was me just trying to uh, control everybody. <laughs> uh, let's let's stun Ray. Pass the turn over here. That's awesome because we can go into ult. Boom. Let's see if we can strip back turn meter from Ray. Of course we can't. Okay, she's gone into ult. 
Um. Get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. Wow. Alright. Wasn't expecting to just lose everybody straight up. I was hoping that we could just clear it out, but I guess not. I guess not. Poke up. That was great. And basic for the win. Thank you, Careers. You guys are awesome. Uh, now you're in hot water? No, I'm fine. See? I won. It's fine. We had the we had the siphon for all the additional uh, stats. It's all you need. You really hate this challenge? Yeah. Uh, the JML one from record is incredibly easy. Incredibly easy. Whoo, baby, baby, baby. Um. I do wish at one point they will let us, um, like, sim these, because it is, it's it's great and everything, but it's very frustrating. Very frustrating to have to deal with. Let's do this, and, I don't know, swap back over here. Need to get rid of that, really. Here we stuns. Let's uh, increase Kylo's cooldowns. All the counter-attacks coming out now. Good. That there. Stun him. Beautiful. Call him in. Call him in. Bye, Kylo. Yep, very, very easy one. Very, very easy one. I'll just put this on order from here. If you ult, uh, if your ult ran out, Slacker would have bitten the dust as well. Yeah, but he didn't know, did he? He didn't know. So we're okay. Ba -ba -boom. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Yeah, it would be nice if we could just sim these. It would be nice if we could sim these, truth be told. Because they're fun and everything to do once, but when you have to do like eight of them, it's kind of like, okay, I'm bored with this now. I'm bored with this now, even if the currency is really nice to have. It's a good way of getting your uh, Omicron mats. Leia! Who should we go with? Maybe we'll go with Han Chewie. Why not? <laughs> oh, dear me. So, how did everybody's uh, Easter go? Did you all have a nice Easter? Was it a good time? Standard behavior. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do this. Pew, pew, pew. Let's go ahead and put that over here. Nice stun, bro. Nice stun, bro. Weep, weep. Oh, please kill her. That was, that was very rude to nearly kill her. And then let her have all that bonus protection. Very rude indeed. Most mysterious. Yay. Lovely. We're looking pretty. Looking very pretty right about now. Oh, you're going to die. Yeah, you too. Let's leave him as he is. Stun him. Oh, we didn't. We didn't stun him. Boop. No ultimate that time. Uh got too drunk this Easter. Is what Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> That's fair, Tyler. That's fair. An exhausting Easter so far, but good. Thank you. Yeah, mine was really nice. Mine. Mine was a little bit tiring, but not massively so. 
you know, got to uh, got to go back and see the family, which is always nice. Um, saw my younger brothers, I got to give them some Easter eggs, which they enjoyed. Saw my mother, saw my father, saw my step-parents. I got to see my stepdad, who's obviously recovered recently from surgery. Um, and he's so much better now. So, it, you know, we had that awesome, awesome news, which was great. Um, and he's doing so much better. Like he's actually up and walking around and can speak and breathe and stuff. So that was great. Um, yeah, so it was a good time. It was a good time. It was a very good time. Do, do, do. Let's pass this over here, I think. Keep on throwing those bombs. Can we rip off Luke's arms? Nice, we can. Luke no longer has arms. If we could now just blow up Chewy, that would be kind of sweet. Wouldn't it be nice if you got blown up? Wouldn't it be sweet if you were dust? I'm no, just just full resist. That's okay too. I'm okay with you just full resisting. Oh, Chewie's gone. He's done. Chewie's been cooked. He's cooked, son. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do some of this. How do you? One scando is not enough. We'll have to have two. It simply shall not do. We will have to have two. Oh, get wrecked, son. Get absolutely rickrolled. Big hits. Auto it is. Yeah, he's doing much better. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, a big relief. A big relief is what it was. Oh, finishing off with a bit of rancor. Nom, nom, nom. What more could any growing boy ask for? I don't know. 300. All right, what have we got left? We've got Vader and Kenobi. Vader and Kenobi. Lord Vader, Reva, well, let's get in Maul, and I suppose we could get in Seventh Sister. There we go. This way we can get all of that torture action going as well. Won't that be marvellous? Won't that be marvellous? Sure, let's do this. Loop. Taunting and Damage Immune. The perfect combo. Oh, the AoE Ability Block. I'm not on board with that one, truth be told. That one I don't find to be particularly fun. Um, sure, let's increase those cooldowns, I guess. Meh. Let's keep that up. Keep it up, keep it in. Let me begin. It's a sin. Get up, stand up. Come on, throw your hands up. When you got the feeling, put your hands up on the ceiling. I came to get down. I came to get down. Get the heal immunity around. Strip that off and pull it back. Uh, yeah. I want to get rid of Shaq T, and I don't know why. I just do. We can't TMR him, so he's about to take a turn. So maybe instead we just go for the ability blocks. Oop. Let's just go all in on Shaq. Screw it. Let's use the rest over here. Get rid of JMK now. Boom, boom, boom. Missed you versus Ray. What was your kill order? Was that uh, the, the... When I used Seer Star Killer Malikos. Uh, the kill order is usually Ben first. Um... But sometimes you get kills with AoEs, and then you kill Ray afterwards. Like, you have to kill Ray after Ben, so. It's pretty straightforward. You've got so much damage output that it's, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. Usually when you throw rocks, people die. Like, the second time, the turn order was a little bit funky when we did it, but um, it was okay, really. Uh, 
um, because he had Cal in there as well, which like that doesn't the the Cal in that instance doesn't actually benefit from the resistance cron. So his level six just didn't come into play whatsoever. It was really weird. Uh, yeah, that's the one we need to kill. Need to get rid of this 501st veteran first, because he's the fives. So you get rid of fives, and then you have a good time. Just go ahead and do some of this and some of that. Working on this Lord Vader. Oop. How dare you have that crush available once again. I didn't agree to this. So close to getting the kill there. Boop. Oh, why did I do that when half the team is dazed? That was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? On second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a foolish place. Oh, in the ultimate event, uh, against Ray. Um, what did I do? I left Ray until basically last, but apparently you kill Ray first. You just stun her. Keep her stunned at all times. And uh, go in after her. Go in after her after stunning her. Keep the field controlled and kill her as quickly as possible. Apparently. I left her till last because I was a silly sausage, but I thought I could I thought I could control it, you know? Thought I could control it. Alright, good business. Good business. I mean we could we could refresh the event and do it again. I don't mind getting a, a little more ultimate tokens. Let's like I'm I'm always paranoid about this now, so we're gonna check the ultimate token store. Making sure I'm not capped, but we shouldn't be. Yeah, we got two four out of 10k. So let's go ahead and oh, we have an army to apply. Nice. Get both of them. We'll uh, we'll we'll redo the ray event. Okay. So the ray one here. So oh shit, that's the wrong bloody event, isn't it? <laughs> We're supposed to be doing. Oh no. Yeah, we're supposed to be going up against Ray. Against Ray. So I'll, I'll refresh that one as well. The slacker event. The slacker event. Sorry, guys. I'm um, I'm a bit slow today. I'm a bit slow in the brain today. This is also not the team that I would normally use. But hey-ho. We will survive. We will survive. As long as I know how to live, I know I'll get on by. I will survive. I will survive. Okay, now go. See if we can stun Slacker. Nope. We were unable, we were unsuccessful in stunning Slacker in our endeavors there today. Let's just go for the whirlwind. Boop. Stun him? Resisted. Dang nabbit slacker. Whose side are you on? Yeah, now you get stunned. Whirlwind. There we go. This is where they hit R2, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it! It doesn't matter. We've already three-starred this event. Not that it matters. It counts for nothing. It counts for naught. Boop, boop, boop. Do, do, do. Wiggly wiggly. Nice. Baby, 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 boy. Womp, womp. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Lovely. Call him in. Whip it a whip. Get rid of that. Now you can't kill him right now. I'm sorry. It's not how it works today, First Order Raider. Ooh, Illuminated Destiny. That's nice. Boop, boop, boop. 
I do wish they'd stop gaining bonus protection. Like, 50% bonus protection every hit is just obnoxious. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. It's like a legend event. It's such a pain. Ray was tanking a 950 siphon ult poke. Yeah, I mean, the siphon doesn't count for naught unless you've actually siphoned the stats. So this went over here. Let's try that one more time with feeling, shall we? Just blowing a bunch of, uh, well, don't want to be using you. So, doop doop. I mean, you could probably get rid of Sith Trooper to throw in OG Kylo for an extra source of stuns. Let's give it a try. Why not? Why not? It's an extra source of stuns. I don't feel like you need the actual damage from Sith Trooper or the extra AoEs. Maybe you do. We'll find out. We'll find out. So they get to take 1300 turns. That's usually the way it rolls. And then you eventually get to take a turn. Have you had enough turns? Stunner? I'm going to pass the turn back over here. And I'm also going to stun Res Hero Finn. And then I'm going to focus over on Ray. So I'm going to pass the turn over here. I'm going to siphon. Doesn't well, I should probably be siphoning over here. This is a stun, so let's see if we can stun you. Nope, resisted. Beautiful. Uh, yep, go over here. Now we should be able to two-turn stun her. And yeah, I'll just do mass assist on her. See about stripping back turn meter. Of course she resisted. Um, I'm actually going to poke her here because I'd rather control her than ult. Just a basic. Pass it over to Slacker. We'll go into ult. Seems though Ray is already stunned, so why not? Nice counters. Um, oh, I was really hoping that um, he would have his stun available. Wow, that's a lot of recovery on that ray. I was not expecting all that recovery on that ray. Alright, let's poke her again. It's just about keeping her controlled now. Mass assist on Ray then. Stun. Keep up controlled. Meter. Of course she resisted. Pass the turn over. I'm just gonna AoE. There's a nice bit of siphon. They take a thousand turns in a row again. Stop healing up Ray! God damn it, Finn! Two turn stun. Stun Finn, maybe. Because he's a jackass. Into ultimate. Pass the turn over. Siphon. There we go. Jobs are good. There we go. Isn't ter generating turn meter a bad thing, Ben? Slacker in Gek got nine holds. Still at full health. Nice. That's amazing. You're remor uh, I'm remorseful food to be faster than Hux. So, much easier this event. General PvE. Yeah, you, you remod Fu. Yeah, Fu being one speed faster than Hux is the ideal way of having him modded. Because you can just pass turn meter back and forth all the time. Diddle Did you need the... Do you need the alt for Slacker? In order to make that work? Probably not, truth be told. Probably not. The, the more important thing is the stuns. The ult helps you keep that stun off cooldown, which is useful. But you could probably do it without. It's alright, mate. Not a problem. Let's keep on buying stuff. Keep on buying the mats that we are going to need. Eventually. Eventually we will need the mats, and, and we will have them, and they shall be used. Such is the way of things. I have it on good authority. 
I mean, let's do that just to pump it over 100. Do that to pump it over 80. Get some credits. We all need credits. Not droid brains, though. I'll get some extra stun cuffs. Why not? Generally speaking, I like to keep everything above 200. If we can. So this one is obviously far too low. At 100. I was like, ruh -roh. Get that bad boy pumped up a little bit. Alright, good stuff. We're looking pretty. You keep getting smacked by Ray's ult. Yeah, she should never hit her ult. She should be stunned the whole time, basically. She should never really take a turn. Get more Z I actually have three full Zetas. I feel so Zeta rich right now. I feel so Zeta rich. Go ahead and grab extra data cache. Yeah, Ray can be stunned, Harmony. Only in this event, because she doesn't have all her Zetas. It's dumb. It's dumb. They don't tell you. You just got to do it. Throw them on your Gungans. Night Fox, you behave. You know why I'm not throwing them on Gungans. You know better than that, buddy. You know better than that. What do we get? Jedi. Jedi. So right now, all we're really waiting on is, is Data Cache. Data Cache is the main... The main thing holding us back. We've got... What is that? Seven? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven level nines at the moment. All I hear is excuses. I need results. The thing is, right, if I was to go to Gungans, I would blow all of my Zetas right now. Because Boss Nest needs one, Tarples need one, and Boomadier needs one. That's 60 Zetas. I, I could use them and they'd disappear immediately. And pictures of Spider- <laughs> And bring me pictures of Spider-Man! He's a menace. <laughs> I love J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> it's good business. That's just good business. Alrighty. Let's uh, go ahead and spend our energy. And then I should probably check TB. I think TB is active right now, isn't it? TB, I think, just went active. So we should, we should see if I need to uh, platoon slash operation anything. Bring me pictures of Spider-Man. CG seems to think there's there's some very important pack that I need to buy. It says it's got one day and 12 hours left or some such. Let's see. Pictures of Spider-Man. We have not yet completed our operations and I can't do that one. What is it? Oh, it's Thuggy. Yeah, we're, we're not relicking up our Thugnaught. It's not happening. Not happening. Not doing Thugnaught. Not today, not ever. Well, maybe not ever. If he becomes a requirement, I'll totally do Thugnaught. To whatever relic level he needs to be, baby. That is the way of the world. I think that one's done, isn't it? It is done. And this one's also done. So the rest of them are done. So we should just platoon somewhere. Platoon it is. R9 Ugnaught as a sub goal. FN, if we get R9 Sugnaught? Sub Subnaught. Subnautica. If we get an R9 Thugnaught as our sub goal, we'll totally do it. But right now, I believe our sub goal is our wonderful Omega. We're at 210 out of 300. We've made some real good progress here. Just 90 more. That's about a month away. That's a month away for us to hit Omega. And my Omega is not looking pretty. And we would have to do everything. We'd have to put Zetas and Omegas on her and everything. Omegas? Omicrons? And she's got a TB army, man. That's going to blow. And the thing is, is then I'll have... I'll have, like, a bunch of R5 Bad Batch, apart from Echo, who's R8, and Omega at R9. So it's just going to be... And if I've got the... Uh, if I've got her TB Ome uh, Omicron on her as well... I would have to bring these guys up to at least R8, just to make use out of it. Gross. Do you think we're going to get a new Omega, by the way? I finally started watching Season 3 of Bad Batch. I finally started watching Season 3 of Bad Batch. She now has a new weapon. 
So what's this? She's got a Zeta on Adaptive Learner and Zeta and Omicron. Oh, she's a double Zeta Omicron character. Gross. Yeah, I do still need TW Omis. In fact, I did promise that my next T uh, my next Omi is going to be a TW one. So I think we need to I think we need to make a choice. Saw Crosshair showed up in the data mine. He did. Yeah, he did. Hopefully those are real. Hopefully those are real and not just um, thingamabobs. Not just um, an April Fool's joke, right? But yeah, we have all this over here. So the, the only thing I'd say that, you know, it might not be real is that for some reason my Discord isn't loading these GIFs. But um, like both of these skins are currently in the game already, right? So it could it could just be a coincidence, right? It could be a coincidence. But then again, we do have Boss Nass over here. Boss Nass and Tarples there. And that camera angle is new. So, I don't know. Survival instinct. It seems very odd to just have a B2 rocket trooper. You know? Fire puncher rifle. Survival instinct. Warm up shop. Shot. Scatter shot. And barrage. And I believe, didn't we actually get this as a bonus unit within TB as well? Didn't we have a B2 as a bonus unit within Darkside Geo? So, I mean, I think it's likely to be real, but we just don't know. Just don't know. Kapoom. But I'd, I'd quite happily receive some uh, updated Bad Batch. It could well be, FN, it could well be, but who knows? Who knows indeed? Should we check in on our opponent to see if he's uh, tried to attack any further? No, it looks like he's left it. Eight minutes left and he's decided, nope, not worth it. What is this pack that they're so excited about? 9.99. Oh, it's the relic cargo. This is this is one of the better purchases in the game, if you ask me. 9.99. You get 100 crystals, but 15 flawed signal data as well as 24 of the incomplete and third, uh, 28 of the fragmented. Really nice. Get extra energy, mod energy and regular energy. Carbonite circuit boards and bronzium wirings. Like for 9.99, it's actually pretty good value. Pretty good value. And it comes out once a week. So if you are a small dolphin slash whale slash minnow, £10 a week, it's not bad. The energy alone is worth it, yeah. Well, I mean, the energy is... What is it? It's probably about 150 crystals worth of energy. But you also get 100 crystals and a bunch of other stuff. So it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Why am I in here? I don't need to be in here. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's not an April Fool's joke because it's kind of cool if we do get those characters. But it, the other side of it is just because we get them doesn't mean we're going to get them now. Because if you think about the position CGR in at the moment, we are currently pushing for Jar Jar, right? So we know the next marquee is 100% going to be Phalanx. They're not going to introduce something in between. And we know that the following two marquees are going to be... Um, you know, well, we don't know, we're assuming, are going to be Master Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? Padawan Obi. So that's already at least, at least two months worth of content, probably. Maybe if you want to be, you know, ambitious six weeks worth of content. So it's not going to happen soon either way, right? At least that's the way I'm looking at it. Either way, I hope it does does land. Because it's good stuff. I always like new stuff coming to the game. Any new character kits are good. In my opinion. 
Oh my lord, oh me, oh my. Oh, I haven't actually gone and got the April calendar. The bonus calendar is in the web store. Make sure you grab that, guys. Grab that. Out on the floor. Grab that. Till you get so. Grab that. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. So, reload into the game. I'm currently not going to buy that weekly pack. Because I'm saving fundage for... Phalanx. El Phalanxio. That's where my funding is going right now. And um, we're going to need it. We're going to need it. We'll be doing roster reviews tomorrow to get the ball rolling on this bad boy. So I'll be happy about that. And um, hopefully we've got two weeks before Phalanx drops. I can't imagine we'll get Phalanx this week. So maybe next week. Maybe next week. If, if CG are being aggressive. If they're very aggressive, we'll get it this week. But I doubt it. Who did I use for the slacker tier? Is that where you use? Against slacker, you mean? I used um, Ray, Ben, JTR, and I think I actually used Zori, but I've also done it with BB-8 and R2-D2. So. You hoping for another couple of weeks? Yeah, don't blame me, brother. More time is probably useful, right? Yeah, yeah. The one where you use Slacker. Oh. Oh, where, where I use Slacker, I use Slacker, Crew, um, Hux, First Order Officer, and OG Kylo. Is what I used. Next pack should be the 11th. That's when the store runs dry. Oh, is that right? Okay. So that's like 10 days. Plenty of time then. OG Kylo for the stun. Yes, correct. I didn't use his first special because I don't want to generate turn meter and lower the stats of the team. Just, it was an extra stun. So I thought, why not? You could do it with Sith Trooper. We had a mention for using Phasma as well to generate more TM, but I don't like the idea of generating TM on a slacker team just because it weakens you. But yeah, I don't think OG Kylo was necessarily a, a good show. It just it just worked. <laughs> Whoa, 10 bonus shards of Snow Trooper. Eventually, I'd like to gear up my Snow Trooper. But right now, it feels like all of my gear is kind of spoken for. Because we'll have Gungans, and then Jar Jar will come out. And then it'll be Queen Amidala, and it'll be... Um, Queen Amidala with Master Qui-Gon and, and young Obi-Wan. So I'll be like, that's that's already a bunch of characters. Did I win? Ah, uh, yes, I did here. Yeah. Looks like our opponent gave up. He dropped a lot of battles clearing our walls. Um, so, yeah. We have lots of new guys to get. We do indeed, Kojo. So he just sort of cleared south and north and then gave up. But he did drop a bunch of battles in north. So he dropped... Five. We well, took five to take out Trench. Two to take out Aiden. Two to take out Zori. He also took two to take out Keller and Beck. I want to say. Um, and then he just stopped attacking. He just stopped attacking as soon as he opened up that wall. I think he just wanted to kill that Trench. He had enough of it, and then gave up. So yeah, that's how it went. How did everybody else get on? Did you all win your GACs? I hope so. I hope so. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. So, yeah. Legend tokens, 1800. It's tempting to go through and, and refresh all of that, but that's, that'll get expensive. You went 3-0. and oh. Nice one, Harmony. 2-1 and one for me. 2-1 and one for me. Because our, our opponent in round two just one-tapped our entire board. One tap the entire board. Shracked us. But, um, you know, in, in all rights, he's from Hoth Ski Patrol and he had over a million more GP. He shouldn't be chilling at the bottom of Kyber 1. 
He shouldn't be chilling here. He should be much higher up. But hey. Um, and we were a little bit drunk. I don't know if you guys recall. We were a little bit drunk fighting McVeigh. <laughs> um, it was good times. Either one and two or two and one. How do you know? Perhaps I could do three and oh, but the first I only did... You only did one fight and you hadn't had time. Ah, oh, mate. Excuse me, Night Fox not checking his gack. Do you even call yourself a sweaty tryhard? This is interesting. Anakin and Anakin ZTA 2 Starfighter. Maybe we are looking at a new Resolute. You just go very defense heavy, which is ratty, but it worked. I mean, our, our guy went... He didn't actually go very defense heavy. He just had, like... Meta non-GL teams in the north, and then just loaded all his GLs in the south. Hey, Mr. Nason, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the tribe, buddy. So, um, yeah, he put five GLs on defense in the south, but the thing is, is I, I had six GLs for offense, and we used no GL here, no GL here, no GL here. So we only had to use GLs against two of his GLs. Oh, no, we used no GLs against Leia either. So out of all of his GLs on defense, we only used one GL. Because we used Malakos over here. We used Bo-Katan over here. We used Reva over here. We used JMK Cat against Jabba. And we used uh, Bane, Bane Darth Maul against Leia. So it was like, he put five GLs on defense. Even though we had six GLs for offense, we only used one against his GLs. So it was kind of like... We had a lot of toys to play with. And then his back wall was weak. I think he assumed that the, the 5GL south wall would hold. Um, so he, he set a weak defense in the in the south. That's huge, Bourne. That's huge, dude. Going 6-0. and oh, That's impressive, man. You're about to get promoted and you're going to hit that wall, dude. You're going to hit that wall hard. Had you, um, had you not played GAC for a couple of weeks? Or did you just decide to start playing and kick ass? Two and one. The one was a tie and got lost because you... Ah, oh, mate, Greg, that is rough, dude. Losing to a tie sucks. I need to decide where I'm going to put this. Vin, Vin, are you still in the chat, brother? See if Vin's still hanging around in the chat. Light defense with just Ray on offense. Nobody beat your defense. Nice harmony. My defense got one tapped in round two. But, you know, realistically, nothing, nothing actually guarantees a hold. Not these days, anyway. You changed your strategy. Light defense with just Ray on... Oh, sorry. Light defense with just Ray on defense. I mean, that's the meta we live in currently, Born. That is the meta. We currently live in a efficiency meta. You know? Some of your opponents didn't try against your Ray with the Holdo Cron. What team did you set, Born? Was it Ray Ben Holdo? I actually rolled... I, I re-rolled one of my Ray Crons and got a Holdo Cron. So I now have one. Where is it? Just here. Nice. So I've got the Holdocron. It's got some offense, some health steal, offense, health, health steal, and health. So pretty good rolls, to be honest. Decent enough rolls. Um, but this over here, like I'm umming and ahhing about this. I feel like it should probably be the 100% health and protection. As in the tenacity one. And this one over here should certainly be the other one. So. 3-0 and, and Gek with the lowest opponent had 2 mil more than me and the strongest had 4. Skill matters. It does, Unstoppable. It does, mate. I'm, I'm so happy to hear you are clapping cheeks, brother. What's the Holdo Kron do again? The Holdo Kron, she has a bunch of additional max health and protection. She is able to pass Foresight constantly. Whenever an enemy misses a... Uh, with uh, an enemy of foresight, she gains taunt, obviously, so that plays into that. Whenever she loses taunt, all of them are going to be gaining foresight again. So basically, she's a perma taunt. 
Um, so whenever resistance ally or Ben Solo loses foresight, she gains 100% bonus protection for one turn. So basically, she's always passing out foresight. That's going to force her to taunt. When they lose foresight, she's gaining 100% bonus protection for one turn. So she's like, basically, oh, you missed that. I'm going to taunt now and gain a bunch of bonus protection. And then they're going to have to go after her. While she has taunt, all other resistance allies and Ben Solo have got 100% crit avoid and defense penetration and 100 speed. It's gnarly, brother. It's gnarly. But yeah, I probably have to reroll both of these, truth be told. After 3v3 ends, you'll be in a rhodium and you don't even have 5 mil. Sexy. Sexy, dude. I like it a lot. But yeah, we've got some, uh, we've built up some crons now. Obviously, um, Conquest is finished now. So we're not going to have it for another two weeks. So data crons are going to slow down a little bit. Might as well favorite our Queen Armadala. So, so we've got 110 shards of her. Looking forward to unlocking this girl. You're in K1 for the first time. Nice one, Emmett. Two hours of hype gets you to 90. He's hit level 90 on his hype train. That is insane, dude. That's insane, brother. You rerolled the Holdo Kron to get 110% health steal. She held on defense in all three gear crowns. Nice one. Nice, brother. There we go. 900 crystals. Love it. Gonna need them for a boomer. We got third, so an extra 500 crystals here. Extra two Zeta mats. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We're still holding on to this, by the way. I've spoken to uh, I've spoken to Meathead about this message, and he says he'll send me a top up when it runs out. So I'm gonna hold him to that. I just want the capper, and you work on the phone. So watching you on phone. Twitch is broken on the phone. Ah, no, one prat. Happily maintaining K2. Nicely done, Senest. Nicely done. Yeah, we're still at kind of the bottom end of, of Kyber 1, but at least we've cleared out a little bit. I got hit so hard when we missed that week, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully hopefully I'm going to start climbing up in K1 again, because I just I just need to be better at the game, basically, guys. That's That's the long and short of it. I need to be better. Habs fan, not Cubs fan. Do, 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 do. Who have I got around me? Actually, I should check to see. Did 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 our opponent who beat us in round two, did he win? Did he go 3-0? He did. McVeigh won the whole thing. So at least we can say we lost to the best player. We lost to the best player. How is he for Datacrons as well? Yeah, he's about the same as us with Datacrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Basically the same as us, yeah. But yeah, I think the extra the extra million and a bit GP helped him a little bit. What's going on, Random? How you doing? I have no idea, Born. maybe. What gives resistance all the exposes? Uh, it depends on the team, random. Depends on the team. So OG, OG Poe can pass out exposes. So can um, uh, Rose, Rose and her Omicron. So over here. Um, so Poe with his AoE. You can do this, not this, this here. Taunt for two turns, remove 25% turn meter from each enemy. 65% chance to expose them for two turns. BB-8, he can do it when he does Illuminated Destiny. I believe Rose does it with her Omi, is that right? Oh no, no, she just passes additional, um, she passes additional damage for each enemy that's exposed. Ba -da -ba. Habs, Habs. 
I'm not sure if OG Finn does. Maybe it's part of the leadership, I'm not sure. 60% defense, offense, and potency, all of that is half that. If an enemy is damaged by a resistance ally, for each exposure on them, that enemy loses 5% turn meter. Yep, 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 yep. And then you've got JTR. If it's a JTR lead, she does a bunch of exposes as well. There she is. I believe, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Whenever you score a critical critical hit, you've got a 70% chance to inflict expose for two turns. So if it's a JTR lead, there's more there. So there's a couple of things. Just needs a little bit more context around what the team was. Oh yeah, it's good business. It's good business. Oh, are you, you talking about the Galactic Challenge, buddy? You're talking about the Galactic Challenge. Ah, that's different then. That's different then. So this one here, yeah? So yeah, I go in with the JTR team. Resistance. I mean, you can use R2-D2. You want BB-8 in there, ideally. You want C-3PO. C-3PO does it on a basic as well. Um, so you can do... You can do... Res Hero Finn, or you can do Poe Dameron. Both of these should work, really. Beep, beep, beep. Do, do, do. So, yeah. This one here is mostly going to come from OG Finn. Alrighty, so I am going to... Let's slow down Dooku, because I don't want him... I don't want him passing around uh, stealth to everybody. And then let's get everybody focusing on JTR. Sure, let's do this. Get rid of that extortion. Boom, that AOE there can pass exposes. Exposes, exposes. Let's see if we can stun Sniper Droid. There we go. No turns for him. And then you just want to get the ball rolling. Well, you don't want to lose Finn. Losing Finn basically stops you from getting anything done. Stops you from getting anything done. But that's basically it. When they have exposes, whenever you use special abilities, you just pull back turn meter organically. So it becomes a lot easier to manage. But I don't know what you need. Do you just need to win with a full team of resistance? Because winning with resistance is pretty straightforward. Do -de 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 -de. Get it over here. Boop -de -boop -de -boop. If you just need the win with the resistance, that's fine. If you need to get the uh, kill three enemies in one turn, you need to be spreading exposes across everybody. But I believe you can do the kill three enemies in one turn on tier nine and still hit red box. So if, if that's all you need to do, you're better doing it at a tier lower. Just the win? Okay, so you don't need to worry about stacking up exposes. If you're not worried about stacking up exposes, then I, I almost wouldn't run this team. If you're not worried about stacking up exposes and getting three kills in one turn, then I would go in with bag bros, probably. If you have them. If you have them. So you could still run some of this, but I'd get bag bros in there. Uh, so, for example, maybe get rid of R2. I'm not even sure if that actually makes sense, you know. Not even sure, but this might be easier. I feel like it should be easier thanks to the turn meter swap and the extra inspiration, but I might be wrong on that. Maybe the loss of R2-D2 kind of sucks. We lose some turn meter there at the start from BB-8. So there might be a bit of RNG in the opener. Let's find out. Yeah, that can happen. So we'll just get rid of you. We'll wiggle. Call him in. Oh, nice. A full odds miss as well. Let's call a mass assist over here. Let's spread this so everybody's got translation. Um, boo, boo, doo. Yeah, turns out that's not that great. Maybe don't use bag bros. Bag bros are not that good. Don't use bag bros. Don't use bag bros. It was definitely easier without them. They're a little bit squishier in comparison. Um... So, taking R2-D2, that gives you an extra 8% turn meter for your droids. And then, I don't know, maybe taking Zori. 
Zori's pretty good. Zori's pretty good. You're using a Zori team? Cool. Zori gives you a little bit of extra protection. Okay, so he started with the extortion that time. Uh, let's have a look then. Let's chill him out just a little bit. Oh, he's dazed now, actually. So we can actually do this. Oh, we didn't land the odds to actually get the stun, unfortunately. Let's get them focusing on JTR. Mass assist and kill Dooku. We should really be dealing with that sniper droid. He is actually a massive, massive threat. Stunned him. Who do we want this on? Let's put it on R2. There we go. I'll do that. Let's burn him. I'm trying to actually target someone other than Newt, but it's not going well at the moment. There we go. Wiggle. Now that we've used the event special ability three times, we're mass assisting all the time on our specials. Burning down. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Jobs are good. Yeah, the wind's not too bad. The wind's not too bad. Who, baby? Who, baby, baby? All right. I'm going to call it there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty tired after traveling all day today. Uh, hopefully you all had fun today. And I'll see you all tomorrow for some roster reviews. If you're all interested in having some roster reviews, make sure you swing around. It'll be about 7 or 8 p.m. GMT. Um, we'll be going for a couple of hours, most likely, trying to raise some funds to get that, uh, that phalanx when it drops in just a couple of weeks' time, hopefully. So I'll see you all there. Peace out. Going to take you over to Fort Moore. Big love, ladies and gentlemen. See you all tomorrow. Peace.